in my last video I tell you how you know we started the fertility treatment and how we changed plans into uh, a plan of six months towards an IUI so in this video I'll tell you what happened with that and what happened with our waiting so the time for the IUI came so an IUI it's it stands for intrauterine insemination and what it does is that it prepares your body like the doctor with the medication prepares your body um, and the egg is released and um, then they take your your husband's sperm or your partner's sperm and they put it together with a little it's not like a needle it's like a catheter that goes within all the way in um, and then it re it's released inside so it doesn't have to fight over tissue or fluids or anything else right so it's inseminated within um, and I never thought I mean I have read tons about this already of course I have seen videos I have read articles I have done my research and nothing prepared me to what happened next so the doctor said you know you have to do the trigger shot it was a Thursday I'll never forget it because nobody told me that I was gonna go through that and he said I, I remember I had the trigger shot in my refrigerator because it had to be refrigerated refrigerated I had that the trigger shot in my refrigerator at home and I have gone to the doctor um, and I didn't have the keys for my house with me and I was able to come back to my house until five o'clock and I remember I said to the doctor I can I wait until five because he he ran an ultrasound and he said no you have to do it now within one hour so I I work in hospitals so I went to the hospital even though I had the trigger shot at home you know that it was wasted money right there I ran to the hospital and had it had it you know put on me the the trigger shot um, so I was supposed to ovulate within 24 hours to 48 hours after that um, we were that was a Thursday and we were gonna do an IUI on Friday and another one on Saturday um, so I did that and I just remember the rush in my chest and in my face running to get this injection and talking to the nurse with the heart in my throat just hoping that that this would work <laughs> you know being so close to that moment that we have waited for now a month and a half after running exams and you know taking all this medication and I had the trigger shot that day and by that Thursday evening I was in excruciating pain it was like a cramping like you have colitis and you're super bloated and you're like cramping like crazy and I I seriously thought I did something wrong like I I must have done something wrong maybe I got the wrong medication or, or, or took the, the wrong medicine I did something wrong this can't be normal I remember my husband being so concerned because he was you know with me and I, I he couldn't do anything we just had to wait to the morning um, so we did and you know I remember I went to the bathroom at night and I lay down on the floor hoping for the pain to go away and maybe because it was a hard surface or something it actually helped and um, and Lou came Lou is my husband and Lou came and into the bathroom and he he thought you know I was dead or something because I was on the floor laying on the floor sleeping on the floor and he said you know you will never do this again you'll never um, 
lay on the floor on the bathroom floor we have a bed and he, i know he he was so um concerned about that and, and i was just i wasn't concerned about the floor i just wanted to lay down on a hard surface and so you know morning came along friday came along and it was a big day the day for iui my husband was working he had to go to the laboratory to get the sperm prepared very early that morning on Friday and here's what I had to do I had they have like two clinics one in the east side of the city and one in the west side I work and live on the west so from the hospital from the west I had to go to the east clinic get the sperm put it between you know right here on my chest um, within my bra because it had to have certain temperature get in a cab or in my car because I was not driving so getting um, I felt like a penguin um, you know get get in a cab and go to the West Clinic so there they would do the treatment there and that day my in-law went with me and that was a great great support um but i mean nobody told me that <laughs> before that i was going to actually carry that sperm you know here in my chest so it can get warm and um go to the other clinic that was very interesting um it was an experience i will never forget so that day we did DIY um, and seriously, I just went to back to work. You know, you think like it's some sort of a, like a day you have to lay down or something. No, I went to the IUI and I actually didn't, I mean, I laid there for a little bit and then I was ready and I had to go back to work. So I went back to work and then on Saturday we went again to the clinic to do it now my husband was there and he went of course it, it was a Saturday so he went with me and after that the doctor said all right you're ready now we have to wait for two weeks just that I mean don't I have to do something else medicines more medicines more shots or something no just wait guys I mean <laughs> when you're having this hustling and then you just stop like call cut and you have to wait and do nothing the only thing that the doctor said was you can't um, you know jump or run or something that was the high impact exercise because your your ovaries are very big and it can be dangerous for you you just you know take it easy and wait for two weeks so that's what we did thanks for watching